Greetings once again, mortals. It's B back at it again with Yo Witchy Wednesday. If you're wondering if I'm wearing pants, the answer is no. I know I haven't been posting lately. I've actually been super duper busy with a million things, doctor visits, externship stuff. Um, last week was the super moon, blue moon eclipse. Rada 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 rada. It was also in bulk, but I don't really celebrate that. It's not really one of my holidays. Last week I actually did quite a bit for the super moon, blue moon, rada 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 rada. I ended up going to a graveyard. I'm not gonna say where because I don't want a bunch of people flocking to said graveyard to collect graveyard dirt, which is what I did. My dad actually took me to go get said graveyard dirt. So we pretty much just made a day of it. Um, we went to this really old graveyard from like the 1700s and we were basically there to collect graveyard dirt. There is a process to collecting graveyard dirt so don't just show up at a graveyard and steal some dirt and run away. It is also considered illegal to collect graveyard dirt. Not like you know thousand dollar fine type illegal. More like on the same level as like trespassing, the whole like get off my lawn, you know, that kind of illegal. So they probably won't arrest you, but they'll definitely tell you to leave if like you're doing too much. Basically don't take a backhoe to the graveyard with you. So we actually had a really cool day just, you know, spending some time amongst the gravestones and you know, hanging out with my dad and his friend. They were actually pretty respectful about the whole thing. They had a lot more reverence for it than I anticipated. My dad has known about my practices and everything since I was a teenager. So I mean, he knows, but he doesn't know a whole lot about it. So we got our dirt. Um, he took me to go get a bunch of containers for a ton of ingredients that I have. He actually surprised me with a couple of ingredients at one point. I even got a, um, what do you call it? A wine bottle to make moon water which usually stuff like that is a little bit too fluffy for me, but I compensated by making goofer dust. I've been feeling kind of like fluffy lately and I've been really needing to re-embrace my shadow. I just feel like lately my magic has been the consistency of meringue with the accommodating flavor. And I'm not really with that, so I've been getting a little a little spoopy with it. So the last moon I made moon water which with all of the things going on with the moon that night I feel is super potent. I actually put the date on it and everything. I don't know if this is a thing that maybe other witches do of like collecting moon water on certain dates and like dating it. Almost like like bottles of wine of this is a 1993 uh, vintage uh, new moon water. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not big on water, I'm not a water witch, I'm a fire witch, so I don't know, but I felt the need to make moon water that night because, A. But I did make the goofer dust and I also made hot foot powder. The goofer dust isn't really for myself, I did make some for myself, made a little extra, because you never know when you gotta goof with somebody. The hot foot powder is definitely for myself because I have people in my life that need to get the fuck on. And then I charged up all of my crystals, and I charged up crystals for other people, and you know, I, I did a lot of favors that night. I'll probably be touching on these subjects a little bit more, the purpose of goofer dust and hot foot powder, and possibly moon water. I mean, moon water is kind of like a base for a lot of things, like potions and elixirs and, um, you know, rada rada, etc, etc. So that kind of speaks for itself. The goofer dust and the hot foot powder, as well as some other things I'll probably be making in the future. I'll also go into depth. I don't know if there's if there's certain things that you want to learn more about. Um, post it in the comments. I really like hearing from you guys. Um, your input videos that I should make, things that I should talk about. Um, so definitely, if at any time you have questions or you have a topic that you think should be covered, um, leave that in the comments. Lately, with the whole feeling fluffy, I've been embracing my shadow a little bit more, so I'll probably be touching on some darker subjects. I've been wanting to experiment with some more macabre um, types of ingredients and tools and things like that, so I'll probably be talking about that um, quite a bit. I am currently in the market for uh, teeth and bones and other creepy things. I also kind of want to talk about um, dealing with 
hateful people um, in your craft, which I'm not entirely ha sure how to do because I kind of don't do that very well myself. I kind of just laugh for the most part, um, but that's definitely something that I want to talk about. In the past, like, I want to say four days, I have had two people come for me <laughs> over Facebook. I had one person go off about um, how my practice was fake and then proceeded to tell me that it was devil work and that I was harmful to people. So it's kind of like, pick one. Is it devil work or is it fake? Does it harm people or does it do nothing? Make up your mind. What What is it? What in your humble opinion is it? I also had somebody comment on a live video that I did um, as I was preparing for the full moon. Um, I, I went live on Facebook and I was just talking about like all the things that I was going to do or whatever. And somebody commented yesterday who is not on my friends list and I'm not sure how he found me or, you know, in what way we might be associated, but he just put white devil <laughs> on my live video. Like, it's ridiculous to me how bent out of shape people get over somebody practicing witchcraft. And like, the dude that was calling it fake literally, like, verbally attacked me in every way possible. It went from, oh, you're fake, oh, you're doing devil stuff, and then suddenly he got, like, violently angry and was telling me, oh, I'll see you around, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, people always regret, you know, always regret what they say when they get within arm's reach or something. Like, like, it sounds like he's threatening me. And then he goes on to talk shit about my shop and my boyfriend and telling me that I'm ugly and that my ass is too big <laughs> and that I probably smell bad. I'm like, how, how are you this bent out of shape? At this point, I'm not even saying anything offensive to him. I'm just like, why are you attacking me? And he's like, starts calling me a bitch. I'm like, what, what did I do to you? It just amazes me how incredibly hateful people can be. <laughs> so I definitely want to cover the topic of dealing with hateful people and you know, dealing with super religious people and all of that stuff. Dealing with family members is the big one. I'll probably talk about that in my video talking about coming out of the broom closet because I feel like all of that is kind of related. Anyways, you guys, so I just wanted to kind of update you and at least touch base with you, let you know what I have been doing. If you have any questions concerning anything that I've talked about, um, if you would like to see a video um, regarding any of the things that I've talked about, um, or anything else, uh, leave a comment down below. I most certainly like hearing from you guys. I enjoy your comments very, very much. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to like and share this video because we just reached 200 plus subscribers. We're a little over 200 subscribers right now, which is spectacular, but I want more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time.